My goal, sorry to Dragon Age, the Veilyard fans, as Bioware still has no plans for DLC, but turns out that's actually great news for Mass Effect fans. Hmm. Almost in Kunk over at VG247. Sorry to dash the hopes of you hoping for more from Dragon Age, the Veilyard, but nope, Bioware still doesn't have any plans for DLC for the latest RPG. Dragon Age Inquisition is, up, is coming up on its 10th anniversary this month, but when it launched a decade ago, it wasn't technically a complete experience. Some DLC later came out that was pretty essential for experiencing the game's entire story. A point that the Veilguard director, uh, Corny Bush, was very aware of when developing the sequel, leading to the decision to make the new RPG a complete out-of-the-box package. Bush, at the time of that comment, did not, or did note, that you should never say never when it comes to DLC for the Valgard. And in the recent interview with Rolling Stone, creative director John Epler reiterated that there are currently no plans for downloadable expansions. That's obviously, uh, that'll obviously be welcome news to fans that do prefer it when you just want to play the game. I think this is the biggest thing out of all of it, Michael, is that at the end of the day, it's a done and deals package because often when DLC comes back around, You've already moved on to other stuff. It's mm -hmm. hard to get pulled back in, right? But we'll talk about it because Star Wars Outlaws just has a new DLC dropping later this month. We've seen a lot of DLC over the times, but even when you take a look at Spider-Man's reboot in 2018, that got a ton of DLC. Dude, I never played half of it. I think it's just one of those things, right? But either way, it really comes down to now that the team has moved forward, moved on to Mass Effect 5. That's Ooh. the biggest thing, right? That's the hook. We haven't really heard all that much about Mass Effect 5 just yet. There's only been a few teasers here and there, and with Bioware only now putting its full attention on the sequel, it's probably still a while away. I can't believe how far this game's going to be away still. It is N7 Day next week on November 7th. So this week, it is almost here, buddy, at the end of the day, right? We're only a couple days away. So we'll be on Mass Effect Day, and then from there, team is now packed up. It's taken them 10 years to get Veilguard, the Veil, the Veilguard, that just cut them. Uh, right out of it. Should have been Mailguard. Either way. Once they've wrapped this up now after 10 years, they're probably going, whew, man, we're done. They're not completely done because they're still doing tweaks, updates, patches. Like, they're constantly always oh, yeah. doing it. But at the end of the day, it is a complete package. No DLC. And for me, man, I'm okay with that. I like to get in, play my game, move on. Pull me back to DLC. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. And you lose half the player base that's already been on the game from day one. Yeah, I think it's refreshing to not have to go with a game that's like, all right, let me beat this, and then I know another DLC, which is going to, you know, take me back another $20, $30, and we'll see if I even want to hop in. So, no, I think this is great, right? You give me a full game. I mean, this game is massive, by the way, right? 40 to 50 hours is the number that's being thrown around. That's plenty yep. to put in a game. Enjoy it. I'm sure even more if you want to go back 100%, see a couple different storylines, and then put it down, right? I I'm really happy that we've finally gotten away from this. All right, we're going to give you a game, but it's... 20 hours in the main game and then we're going to give you another 10 hours in a dlc and then another 20 hours in a dlc and that's how you get your 50 hours but instead of 60 dollars, it's going to cost you 100 dollars, right so super pumped about this definitely makes me maybe a little more interested to check this out i'm with you it should just be called veil guard I, I always forget the in this title so yeah. super pumped for that and i'm curious about mass effect right i don't think we should have any timeline for it right i mean you know the problem with mass effect right it's this big franchise but it's kind of <laughs> gone downhill right it's mass effect yep. one massive i played it had a ton of fun mass effect two had my roommate in college we played it together ton of fun by the time mass effect three came out i was like eh, i'll wait and see and that game was there was a lot of wrong with it, that game and you know about it. i forgot about mass effect four andromeda you had to remind me i was like how are we on five i couldn't even remember what four was that's how bad it was and how much it had been completely removed from my memory so I don't. I hope they don't take another ten years, but another five, right? If we're in 2029, 20, 2030, as crazy as to say, by the time we get Mass Effect Five, I don't think that's a problem, Drew, because that franchise needs a lot of love to bring it back to what I think the fans want. And with yeah. all the drama around Veilguard, if Mass Effect Five has issues, fans are not going to be quiet about it. No, right? It's so easy now to just go and troll on social media or whatever. You don't like the drama behind Dragon Age of the Veilguard, then just don't play the game. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Agreed. day, dude, there's a solid RPG here, and I'm having a ton of fun playing. I'm still working on my review, getting in, because like you say, it is 40 to 50 hours long, depending on how far you kind of go. I think you can wrap it up if you just beeline the story in like 30, but still 30 hours, dude. 
30 hours like there's a lot of game here so i'm looking to make sure i get all the intricacies that i need to know about before i have my final opinion on it but it is one of those things it's not a short game which then leads us into so many years of development now once they're done with this just to get away from no dlc and move on to mass effect and really bring that back to a starting level where everybody falls in love with mass effect once again one didn't hit with me at all it was really two that did take off and kind of fix everything that i was i was having issues with with one and there is a kind of divisive kind of mantra behind one but yeah mass effect 5 really needs to hit and needs to hit hard